Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our cocoon bin. This is the African Nightcrawler cocoons. And that, or those, are drain flies. Not a good thing. I'm gonna carefully move this. I'll get them killed in a minute because they are the biggest nuisance ever. I've had them before. And they are a royal pain in the backside. So, this is where we have our corn cob. We did our midweek peak in here the other day, and we did see a few of them getting to town. And I already see one. This is one of our bigger guys. I think this is the one we keep seeing every week. But he looks really healthy. That's good. We have one guy at least in here. And I'm going to lift out this corn cob. Oh, look at that. There's several more. Looks like there's one here, one here, one down the bottom there. Not seeing a whole lot beyond that, but definitely more progress. This is definitely turning into a patience game but I'm encouraged, really, really encouraged that I'm seeing more activity on here. You can see, because this is zoomed in, oh, I have a, is that a baby on my finger? I think that might be a baby on my finger. Oh, no, it's not. It certainly looked like one, though. Not sure, but it doesn't look like a baby. Um, let me zoom back out here. But we got some definite babies in here. Definitely seeing some more larvae. Whoa! Check that out. I'm seeing some more larvae, so I think I need to add some bedding to this. Oh my gosh, guys. I think we've perhaps had some babies all along that I wasn't seeing. Because all of a sudden now, for us to be finding them, and some of them being a really good size, kind of seems hard for me to believe that they just magically showed up overnight in such, you know, good size and all. But, um... This is really, really encouraging. I was getting super frustrated. I know you guys could probably sense that from my videos, but these larvae are concerning. Um, so to see that we're having some success now, some more cocoons hatching, definite more baby activity in here. These are some of those coffee grounds. They don't look like a whole lot's happening with them. But it does appear like this, this whole process is starting to work. Another little baby. Couple of them. Oh, guys. This is like the best news I've had all week. This is absolutely awesome. I'm really, really happy. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Um, see if I can find anything else. And depending on that, we will um, definitely add some bedding today since we have some drain flies that have found their way in here. And um, then we will call it a day. So I moved some of the bedding off of this uh, corn cob and they are actually like all over it um, in several spots. So I'm actually going to break this corn cob in half and put half on each either side of this bin. Um, I also see that it's got a lot of mites. Um, 
little spider mites. Let's see if we can see them with our camera. Yep, there are some of those white running bugs. There's some larvae in there, some springtails. But those fast moving, look like baby spiders. Um, it's a good name for them because they are called spider mites. And they're decomposers. They don't want to leave your bin. But um, it all comes back to poor poor bin care and sometimes I'm guilty of that myself so I'm gonna split this in half carefully put a half on each end mix up our bedding and then we will top it with some um, I think I'm gonna use cocoa core or choir I don't know exactly how you pronounce it so forgive me if I'm butchering the pronunciation and please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong but um, let me get this all mixed up we'll add some of the coconut core and um, mix in some eggshell. Hopefully adding the cocoa core will be really good for these, keeping out these spider mites and all. Of course now I can't spot any, but I saw them running on the edge a minute ago. Um, but yeah, burying everything up will keep any of those larvae away that we have um, with our uh, little drain flies and fruit flies and all of that. So we want to make sure that doesn't become a problem. All right, so we have coconut core, some um, crushed eggshell, and I'll sprinkle just a hair more of this coconut core across the top. But this will give us a good, I don't know, inch or two on top of everything. And this is pre-moistened. Um, and because of all of the little extra critters we have in here. I don't think I'm going to moisten it down anymore because it's going to hold in the moisture that it has. Um, so I don't think that's necessary. So I am going to replace this back on top. If I continue to see the mites, uh, I might pull it out because I did, did see some mites running along this. So um, just going to have to play that part by ear, but we will see how it goes next week. But Finally, 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 we're seeing more than two or three uh, wisps, and a few of them are actually getting a little bit bigger. So I'm super excited about that. Um, let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I will be back with you guys next week for another update.